Hey, what's up guys, HD here, and welcome to episode 7 of the club, and in the previous episode we did make a new team, and that was a Brazilian side in a 3-5-2 formation, and it did us very much uh, a great uh, performance uh, in the uh, games that we had. Picking up wins yet again, just like our BPL side has been picking up wins for us now and now again. And we're just going again in this league. And we, we sort of conceded the goal there. Falcao is great header of the ball. I've had him in ultimate team. He's outstanding in this game. But this Brazilian side showed great mercy and just went out and just said... Oh, we don't care. We've gone 1-0 down. We're just going to go and destroy you anyway. We don't care. We still have plenty of time to go out and get some goals. And I, It's been a while since I actually played this game. But uh, I missed that penalty with... I think that was with Ari. I'm not totally sure. But he missed the penalty, sadly. I went f well. I went for a, a fake. Uh, I've never done a fake in, in penalties... But uh, we, it didn't matter, that miss did not matter. G Gilvan picks up a goal, the silver, who is coming in into a great player here. And uh outstanding player, really. Silver, and he's still picking up goals. It, it's really something that's uh, helping out in these games. And really, every goal helps. But Naldo, the big man, he ain't going to miss a chance at all because he is an absolute beast in this game. I've got to say, the three centre-backs at the back are just outstanding. They cannot be broken. They may have been broken in this game, but it didn't really matter because the the, two, the three of them are just outstanding. It doesn't matter that you haven't got wing-backs, uh, the two right mids, uh, the right mid and left mid. Even though they're not defensive, they're still people that you can put in the way of the opposing team when they are attacking. And anyway, they, they still uh, pay dividends for themselves to just be great players and defend very well not very good defending there didn't get him down Ozil taking a nice shot and get it into the back of the net maybe the keeper could have done better but that was just the small margin of that not going in really was um uh, so small that it, you can't really blame the keeper for that. But we did a win 5-2. We put three points on the board for Division 2. And it seems like we have really, since we built that BPL squad, we have flew through the divisions. It's been quite easy picking up title after title. And I'm wondering how it's going to be like in Division 1. Because I have never played in Division 1. I have played in all the other divisions. But I, I, what I've heard is that it's very sweaty in there. Maybe we might have to have... A team change but also building up this Brazilian squad has allowed us actually uh, pause that for one minute foot loves you uh, FIFA ultimate team loves you uh, yeah that's right guys uh, <laughs> Oh, I couldn't believe it when I saw that, and I, I posted on Twitter the, the the picture of that, and I was like, if 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 FIFA really loved us, then they wouldn't make such a uh, a buggy game that uh, really has crap servers and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, it, uh, going on with that Brazilian, building the Brazilian squad, it's allowed us to uh, sort of sort out our fitness uh, for free. So now we can use the BPL squad, have all the Brazilian players on the bench or, or in the reserves, and we can just go ahead and play one game. We'll have everyone back, and I'm, I'm definitely going to go back to the BPL squad because it was absolutely amazing to play with them guys, and it's absolutely awesome uh, to have two teams uh, so early into this uh, series only uh, seven episodes in it's kind of crazy that we've got that much but I think I think the free packs have helped in that uh, sort of respect but anyway this game we took the lead early on and some valiant defending there a nice block to stop the player getting a shot on target that's what I'd like to see some Bradford like defending to stop the opposing team and uh, the underdog the, under, uh, the underdog sort of story is kind of cool and I do like that in real life but but this game was kind of good for us. I've got to say, we scored some pretty nice goals. Uh, some quite sweaty. That there wasn't enough sweat in that. Uh, the goal there, it was just was, the bucket of sweat was not uh, high enough. But Wellington here are getting out on the outside and a great uh, roulette. And uh, how that was not a penalty, I don't know why the referee would not give a penalty for that. 
But it didn't really matter because we took this game pretty much to the end, defending very, very well, just uh, sliding in, just blocking anything that goes. But uh, we left the guy out wide here very clear, and uh, Arthur Mudwaz manages to put him off, and he misses by a small margin, but we still take the three points, and that's what it's all about. We've got to go out and get the three points every single time, and there we go. He may maybe had a few more shots than me, but it still didn't. Mean anything as we do win 1 0 in that game, and uh, we're on a right roll right here. And I think we've won about uh, I'm gonna take 15 games on the trot now. I think 15 games is a respectable amount of wins in a row now, and uh, really. Uh, I don't see us losing at all. And uh, David Luiz gets a contract there. Very nice for him. Gives him another 13 contract days uh, to, uh, well, games to be put on him. But anyway, we went into another game. And this game, well, it was kind of the shortest game that I ever played on uh, FIFA Ultimate Team so far. He had a Bundesliga team with a random uh, Podolski. And Podolski was the man of the show in the first four minutes of the game. As uh, you see here, I get the ball and Lucas Lever just gets taken out. And for me, that's a yellow card, but the referee pulls out his butt. A uh, red card for Podolski. That was one of the harshest for, uh, red cards. It was from in behind, but Lu Lucas somehow dodged it. And then uh, he tripped over the, the, the leading leg. And really, for me, it was a yellow card. And then I rouletted again. It's so easy to get penalties with roulettes. I really de recommend to get uh, penalties with uh, when you do a roulette. It's uh, really, really effective. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of uh, tips and tricks for getting free penalties. But there we go. What was that? Ten, well, six minutes was it into the game? Yeah, six minutes. Wow, that was almost on the dot. And uh, we get the, the win. And the stats that looked absolutely awesome. One shot on target, one a goal in the back of the net, and we're taking this one to 16 wins. I'm just guessing that we've scored, we've won 16 games on the bounce. But if Felipe Santana wants a contract, and Rafinha was running a bit low on his fitness, I didn't want to take the risk of him being very, very uh, well low on fitness and not running hard enough. And uh, really fitness for Rafinha is massive for us because I've seen him playing with him on the pitch uh, you've got to have a lot of fitness in him because he runs so fast he's so rapid in that uh, wide area and when getting back he's very useful as well but this game here I came up a against a quite a tough opponent he had a hybrid I haven't seen a hybrid side in ages and it's been uh, it's been weird not to see many hybrids but obviously everyone's sort of going a bit uh, more genuine and we had a lot of chances in, game, in this game and we did not take any of them here we had a nice little bicycle kick it almost went in I think the keeper had it covered but they had a free kick it uh, curved in by Oh, I don't know who that was, but Essien, yet again, he scored. I believe he scored in the Real Madrid game in uh, my The Best of the Best. And he goes ahead and scores there. Is he going to be my next Kryptonite? I'm not too sure. But Giovan straight away from that goal goes up the other end. And we pick up another goal. And uh, we can't stop scoring. And even though we missed them early chances, we just kept on going and... We we could have scored a, a vast amount of goals. This guy had a pretty loosey defence, if if that's a word for it. And somehow Lucas Lever scored a goal. I don't. I've never seen him score a goal for Liverpool in real life. But there we go. He scores one for Brazil there. And this guy had like a quite a loose defence at the back. It was kind of all over the place. Him sliding in, and it was kind of easy to score in the later stages because he kind of got uh, annoyed when I started scoring quite a few goals. He was just pressing X for the hell of it, and I should have scored there. Keeper pulls off a nice save, and he keeps it at three one. But this game was not over there. Wellington, oh my. God, that guy's a beast. Uh, great pace. And he can still head of the ball as well. That's just what's weird about it. I'm a bit disappointed in Alexandra Pato. I thought he would be a lot better of a player. But it's just not being in the right place at the right time for me. He's, he's a great player in this game. I just feel like he's not there um, when I need him. But anyway, we pick up the three points. Another three points. 4-2 is the end score. Kaká scoring in the last minute. No doubt about that. But... 
Six shots on target, four goals in for us. I'm pretty pleased with that result, seeing as we only had six shots on target. We have 11 shots, so maybe we need some target practice. But we are only uh, five points now off the Division 2 title. So it's going to be a tough fight to the end, but it doesn't seem like it, does it? Because... Brazil are a beast squad. But anyway, I'm going to have to end the episode here. So please like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.